Hi guys, so I am back with another video and today I thought I would sort out and arrange the dog toys. Now we have quite a lot. Pixie and Roxy aren't here right now so I thought what better time to sort out the dog toys when they're not here so that they don't obviously um, stop me from putting toys away that they don't want. So they don't play with some toys, they do play with some so I kind of know what they do and what they don't. So I'll sort it out and what I'll do is I'll bag some toys and then I'll put them away and what we'll do is we'll switch over maybe in a couple of weeks times just to give them a wee change but we are overflowing at the moment as you can see this is our toy selection so the bucket is actually there and this is just extra so we do have to arrange and there is some toys obviously scattered about the place so I'm going to empty all this out on the floor and we're going to go through it and see what they like and what they don't like Okay, so I have one empty bucket and I have a pile of toys. Now, have you ever seen a dog with so many toys? So, here's Misty. Misty's staying with us just now, so she's keeping me company while my two are away. I'll be getting them back soon and it can't come quick enough. Okay. So let's just go through this one by one so and we'll see what they play with and what they don't. Now, start with the big things. Now, I'm only going to fill this bucket and once that's full, the rest are going to go away. So, Mr Chicken, you can go in the go away pile. This can just go in the bin. We'll have a go away pile, a bin pile and the toy pile. Now they do like this toy, this is Outward Hounds, so we're going to keep that. This one is actually bust open, so they don't really play with it, so I'm going to bin that one. The giraffe, I'm going to put this away, just because they don't really play with it. The monkey, I'm going to put away. See the fish, they love this fish and this fish you cannot get anymore. So this one is going to go in the tub. Snake is going to go in the tub just because they love it. I'm going to put this away. This is the most horrendous toy I've ever seen. It looks horrible and it sounds horrible. <laughs> I'm going to put that one away. Okay, I'm going to keep this wee ball. This wee ball is actually quite good for putting treats in. It's very rubbery, it's very bouncy. I have previously put treats in before and they spend ages trying to get the treats out. So I'm going to keep that one in the tub. This is a root, tree root, and it's by Green and Wilds. And I've not chewed in this for ages. I'm going to put that away actually. Um, it's not something I would want them to play with while I'm out of the house. So, put that away. And we cannot forget the paper. The paper is the absolute favourite. So we're going to keep that. Roxy likes the ropes. So I'm going to keep um, a few rope things in here. Although, it looks as if I need to cut a wee bit off. So I'm going to keep that there to remind me to do that before I put it in. Christmas toys, we're past Christmas now, so they can go away. And here's Misty coming to have a nosy. Hello, you going to have a nosy? Mm hmm. You going to help me decide what ones we're keeping and not? Right, put the Christmas tree away. So that's all the Christmas ones away. We don't need Christmas ones because, eh, uh, well, Christmas has been and gone. Okay, they do like these. This was a Christmas toy that they got, so this is the same kind of squeaker as the fish. So we are going to keep these. Where's the other one? There it's over here. There we go. Keep that. And the hedgehog we are going to put away. Um, Kong we'll put away. That's good as well for putting treats in, but I've already got one for putting treats in. And this we just got in our paw post box, so I'm going to keep that actually, because Misty quite enjoys that when she's over. 
These chew bones are really quite good. They're nyla bones. Um, as you can see, they've been chewed just a wee bit on this one, but more so on this one. Roxy quite likes this and so does Misty. So I'm going to keep that in the box as well. Um, Jamie just recently bought the dogs this Kong Crinkle toy. It's quite new to pets at home. So I'm going to keep that in there because they do quite like the rubber things too. The fish we're going to keep in, we got this from America from Stassi and the dogs love it, Pixie especially. Do you want to play with it, Misty? Go get it. No? You not interested? Oh dear. That's not good. Well, Pixie and Roxy love it. And I'm going to keep the hedgehog as well just because that's a favourite. Again, another chew stick from um, Pet Stages. It's like an Isla Bone type thing, but it's not. Now, Misty absolutely loves this stick, and so do the dogs. It's just a bit big for her to chew, but you can get smaller ones, and that's very good also. So we'll keep that one. Again, another page for me. This is actually a Christmas paper, so it's the only other one I've got. So I'm going to keep that one away and keep that spare. Look, there's the smaller stick there. You want the smaller stick? Right, go and chew it then. Go and chew it. Good girl. Okay, Mr. Froggy, we also got from America. The dogs haven't played with this for a wee while, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this one away and we will swap them over later on down the line. I've got their antler in here. This goes to the bottom of the box because they don't get this unless I'm here. So I'm going to stuff that in away down the bottom. And the ferret. This is a wee ferret. We call it roadkill because it's flat as a pancake. You want to play with it? Go get it. Yeah, you like that one, don't you? Mm -hmm. And we're going to keep Mr. Fox as well because Mr. Fox has just been bought and it needs to be used. So he's going to sit in here along with the roadkill ferret. And Misty's just going to take it back out. Well, you can play with it just now then. Okay, we also have a Happy Moppy, which is also from Stassi, and Roxy absolutely loves this toy. It's like the most, the, the it's like the toy that she's played with the most, and I've seen her play with the most compared to all toys, so she loves it, I think, just because it's got all these different frilly bits, and it's got the rope on it as well, so we'll keep that. This is another toy we got from Popos, so we're going to put that one away just because they've not played with it in a while. The monkey, this one, we just recently got from Popos, so we're going to keep that one and it's got the ropes on it. Now we're filling up, so we need to be careful. We don't have a lot left, so that's good. The dinosaur is Pixie's favourite. She has quite a few favourites actually. This one in particular, I don't know what it is about it, but she can snuggle in with this toy in her bed and take it everywhere with her. So we're going to keep this one out just because she loves it so much. I wouldn't want her to part with it. This thing here is what Jamie bought the dogs. He buys them the most horrendous things ever. And it squeaks at the most slightest touch. So I'm sorry, Jamie. But that's going away just now. <laughs> and obviously the other twig we can put, these things can just stick in there, so that's fine. Now, this toy here is, again, a new toy that Jamie bought them. And it is so cute. It's a little pig. You could have got a pig, a sheep, or a cow. So we got the pig just because it's so cute. It is a Kong toy and it's like a, a bottle, a ring bottle inside and it's got rattles in it. And I don't know what it is about it but Pixie absolutely loves it and she actually grooms this pig as if it was her own puppy. 
So she's very protective over this, grooms it, licks it, cuddles in with it, plays with it, throws it. So I am not prepared to put this one away so it can stay. Definitely. And we said we were going to keep this one. Here we go. And we'll keep the ferret. And this ball they don't really play with. I think that's a ball they could go to the park with actually. But we'll put that away for just now. Okay, so our toys are organised. Now we have the box which isn't as full. We have the rope that we need to fix because there's a leaf hanging off. We have the toys to go away and we have our bin pile. <laughs> so not much to put away in the bin but once they're broken I just put them in the bin because we get so many toys from our boxes that we just decide once it's broken it's broken unless it's one that they really really like like if they were to break this I would need to sew it otherwise I would need to go and buy a new one because they love it so much so I need to find a bag for this and that is us so that's the toys all organized and sorted so that is a good job well done and we'll actually see how long it stays like that for because I'll no doubt go and buy more toys Oh, one thing I forgot, sorry, is this ball. This is a treat ball where we can put like their biscuits in and they can roll about on the floor. And the same with this one here. I usually get, um, I just get kibble for these. But what I do is I maybe get like a different brand and I get a wee bag and it's just something different for them and they don't get a lot of them. It's maybe just like a handful, so it's not going to do them any harm. But the brand of kibble would be, you know, obviously good enough to Lily's Kitchen. It wouldn't be, like, stuff with your um, diuretives in it and stuff like that. So, and your colours and your e-numbers and things. So, they they know how to play with these. Roxy doesn't know how to use this one. Uh, Miss, uh, Roxy knows how to use this one. So she's going to keep this one for Roxy and this one's going to be for Pixie because she knows. So we'll keep them there. And that is us. So thank you guys. It might have been a bit of a, a boring video for you guys to watch but it let you see what toys our dogs have and play with and what's good and what's not. Like the video, leave us a comment and we will see you guys later. Bye!